would you say there's some correlation between uh, experiencing light and uh, expanding one's consciousness or? Of course, because consciousness is light. Light is consciousness. Yeah, because, you know, we have the question, do you, like, everybody, okay, the interesting thing is everybody knows, like, they have a consciousness or mind, but nobody knows what it is, right? And then we always think it's something invisible, and we always think something intangible, right? And I think that's, that's like a very basic uh, explanation. But like, for example, there are some Tibetan meditation in Ati Yoga tradition. The meditation is called the dark retreat. So you stay in a complete dark room from seven uh, days to 49 days, actually from one week to seven weeks. And then, so this, uh, this kind of practice is especially, uh, how do you say, how to experience the inner light, right? But once you are able to experience the inner light, and then you realize the light, mind is the light, consciousness is the light, light is the consciousness. But we don't have access, you know. In, in an ordinary state, we don't know this, right? Ordinary state, okay, it's night, it's dark, we need an external light. Do you understand? It's an external condition. But if you close your eyes and you meditate, and you are able to develop the inner light. So the inner light is, the, you can call it a part of energy, and also it's our consciousness. That makes me wonder if we're not experiencing the inner light. We are experiencing in a very mild way, mm. uh -huh, right? Like, normally what we think is everything is out to in, but in reality, in to out. But, but it is mean? like a dream. Everything is like a projection in, 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 the, in to out, right? In the dream, so in the dream you can see, you can taste, you can touch, you can walk, right? And you can feel in the dream you have you have five sensorial organs are functioning perfectly. You know, in the dream you are experiencing like this. You know, you see something, you can touch, and you have all experiences in the dream, right? But that moment you are so convinced is nothing is coming in to out, is everything's out to in. It's just like this, right? You are so convinced at that moment. Even I come to your dream, you say, Hi, this is your dream. You don't believe in me. Only when you wake up you'll realize you're stupid. I was right. <laughs> the same way this world, it is a projection of our mind too. So when we are awake, we are in this dualistic dimension. That's what I'm saying. You know, we think everything is out to in, but I'm saying it's not just out to in. The reality is in to out. That's why externally you have a light, that's your inner light too. <laughs>